Hey guys, welcome to the 34th part in this Python video series for beginners and in this one we're going to be talking a bit more about this Python application that we're writing so let's just go ahead and get straight back into it so in the last part we just finished up with getting this JSON response back from the URL so we queried the Google API and then it gave us all this JSON data back which is in the form of this Python dictionary so in this one we're going to try to get the data back out of it and maybe make our application look a little bit more similar to what we've got here. So let's go ahead and do the status. So it's going to say API status and then it's going to give us the API status. So we've got the Python dictionary which is represented by this curly bracket here and then it'll end on this curly bracket down here and it says status which is the first key and then it's got a value of OK. So we're going to try and get that data out of the JSON and then print it back out. So the way we do that is I'm going to say JSON status is equal to, so it's part of the JSON data, because remember this JSON data variable contains all of this information which we can just uh, use as a Python dictionary and which is a really good thing about the JSON data format. So I'm just going to say, just like any other dictionary, I'm going to say the key is called status. So I'm just going to do print and then the string API status. And bear in mind, you can print however you want. You could format it completely differently if you wanted to, but I'm just going to show you how to recreate this example here, just so that you can have something to follow along with. So I'm just going to say JSON status and bear in mind that if this was a different type then we could have issues here by adding two different types of data but because this JSON status is a string so this OK is stored as a string value in this dictionary so that's going to be OK to add the two together it's just going to append the two. So if this was an integer or a boolean value for example then this might cause errors if we didn't convert it in so that it was the same data type but that should be fine so I'm just going to go ahead and run that to see what we get and we still got the JSON data so I don't really want to see that anymore but we do get API status OK which is really good so I'm just going to go and remove this print statement and if we look at the example again you can see we get the URL here as well. So I'm just going to print that out because that's really easy to do as well. So if you remember this URL variable contains that entire URL now. So I'm going to say print URL and run that. So now you can see this response is getting slightly more close to this example that we have here. So now what do we want to do? We want to get the Let's just do this formatted address bit because that's probably the easy bit of the two to do. To find out how I'm going to do that exactly, I want to look at the JSON data. So I just went to this URL in the browser here and this is the response that we're going to get back for uh, address equals LHR because you can see that in the URL here. And so the dictionary that we get back or the JSON response is going to have two keys. It's got results and status. Now we've already got status out of the JSON, so that was just a case of saying JSON data status. But now we want to go into results, but now we've got this sort of subtree. So what's stored in results is this list object, and this list, there is Python list of all this other data. So it's a list of one dictionary. And then in that dictionary, we've got some more stuff. So I hope this isn't too confusing, but the idea is that we're just going to sort of narrow it down so that we can extract just the specific information that we want. So in this case, the specific information that we want, if we scroll down, is going to be the formatted address. So this is the key that we want. And you can see, so if we close this, you can see that the results list has this dictionary which contains the keys of the address components which is what we were looking at which is another list and it also contains the formatted address so that's the data that we want to extract so I'm going to try and do that by saying 
So the JSON data results formatted address. So that's what we want to type. So I'm going to type formatted address is equal to the JSON data and then it's going to be in the results this time instead of status because we had status last time so I'm going to say results and then that's going to give us the entire list object but we don't want the entire list object we only want the formatted address so this is in the dictionary which is going to be the first item in the list so if you remember how you get the data items out of the list use the integer index and remember computer start at zero so we have to add that in there as well and then we're going to say okay now I want the key formatted address so I'm literally going to just add these all onto the end and then it should extract the specific data that I want so I'm going to say formatted address because that's the exact name of the key here and then it should give us this string if we're lucky so I'm going to just to be consistent I'm going to print this blank line by just doing an empty print statement and then I'm going to say print the formatted address so hopefully if everything is going to plan then the the line that we're going to get printed out is going to be the same as this so let's go ahead and run it and see what we get so that's given us the exact same line which is great because that's what we'd expect and now we're getting a lot closer in fact to what we intended with this JSON response and in fact we've covered the bulk of this program but in the next video we're just going to be refining it a bit more and maybe making it a little bit more user friendly because at the moment it just uh, we have to run the script and then it's going to stop and it gives us no feedback really it doesn't say you know when it's restarting or uh, it doesn't ask us to enter the address so in the next video we're just going to sort all that stuff out